Alright guys, so if you're headed south from Wilmington on the coast, you're going to cro cross, uh, cross the waterway, you're going to end up on like a peninsula or an island, and uh, you're going to roll right into Carolina Beach. Here's the boardwalk and, and stuff at Carolina Beach. They have like some world famous ice cream and donuts here. Brit's Donut Shop been here since the 1930s. Um, you can see the rides for kids, like a little carnival. Ferris wheel, tilt-a-whirl, fun slide. They have concerts and stuff up that way. It's kind of like the uh, smaller version of the old pavilion at Myrtle Beach. There's all the food and, and trinket shops that you could ever want. Pleasure Island rentals, you know, rent kayaks, rent paddle boards. And you'll see people driving around, uh, driving around the whole place on golf carts and side-by-sides and... Uh, stuff like that it's just a really chill spot so I'm gonna turn left here and we're just gonna keep going south down the coast at Carolina Beach Pelican, the famous little bar right there. So uh, if you're worried about somewhere to eat, man, don't worry about that. There's all kinds of places to eat down here. Right here is the famous Hang Tin Grill. That place is always packed. <coughs> I'm a huge fan of the Mahi Sandwich. The Carolina Beach Park with the uh, little lake and everything right here. You can rent paddle boats. Really cool spot. So we're rolling south now down the coast. The water is right there to our left. And as we roll south, we're going to roll out of Carolina Beach shortly and into Curie Beach, which I was mistakenly pronounced Cure Beach for a couple years until somebody told me otherwise, but it's Curie. I'm going to roll into that, which is mostly beach houses. If you're staying in Curie Beach, you'll definitely be coming up to Carolina Beach to eat and get into stuff. Carolina Beach is where everything is, uh, is happening. All the hotels and stuff are up here. Gary Beach will be your beach houses and stuff. a shortcut you can get over there's like a bypass it's 55 miles an hour and you can just jet all the way down the coast here and uh, come back in down in Cur Curie Beach but uh, just for the sake of showing you guys some of the sights I want to come this way wow that house is cool just some really nice beach houses man most of them rent for probably five to ten grand a week Okay, we're now coming into Curie Beach. I don't know if you guys can hear my tire, but I got that Kenda Trackmaster on the back. It's about shot. And uh, 
it's starting to get really loud if i'm if i'm riding straight up it's really loud if i swerve get on the edges of it it quiets down oh yeah i forgot to mention i'm on krista's uh 2014 crf 250l as well we brought it uh down with us just because it's a little quieter we could start it up leave the beach house without waking anybody up perfect for buzzing around any little island or anything Um, what I'm gonna take you guys down and show you in a minute is super cool. So hang in there with me, especially if you're any kind of history buff. Hang in there, you're gonna like this. Okay, here we've got the pier, the only pier I know that's on the whole peninsula. Uh, Jack Mackerel Seafood, a few other places to eat. I think it may, might cost like a dollar to go out on the pier. There's Freddy's Restaurant. This guy doesn't know where he's going. Alright, now up here. You're about to see two white pillars on either side of the road. That marks your official entrance into Fort Fisher. Fort Fisher, um, that area was named after the fort there. It's a Revolutionary War fort consisting of what I believe are the largest uh, earthworks in the world. Um, something like that. And one year we stayed, uh, we stayed right here in that beach house with the green dumpster that they're redoing it was super nice used to be a little convenience store across the street they leveled it okay now we're officially into fort fisher and we're just a hop skip and a jump from the very end of the island where we're staying now that's my white truck it's a nice place too as you can see this is all beach houses I don't think there's a single restaurant down here lots of people running uh, right here this is a bicycle lane to my right it runs all the way to, to Federal Point, which is out here at the end of the island. But yeah, so Fort Fisher, Revolutionary War Fort, you'll have to read about it. I'm not a super update on the history of it. I just know it's famous for its earthworks, huge mounds and stuff. Um, the guy that was in charge of it actually started over at Fort Anderson, which is just across the bay, and uh, built some crazy earthworks over there. And then came over here and built these, which I believe are the largest in the world. But the, the, they don't look that big when you're looking at them. But then whenever you think the fact that there were no bulldozers, there were no loaders or dump trucks, all of this dirt was moved by a uh, shovel full, which they claim was all done by Indians and slaves. So that's crazy, guys. Here's where we're getting into it right here. Uh, this is the historic site this is here is the uh, museum you can park right there there's a bunch of walkways and stuff out here that's the Civil War Museum 
Okay, so there's some of your earthworks. Battle Acre Tour Shop. There's a monument out there. What uh, What's really cool up here is the aquarium, guys. And I'll buzz around and show you that. We're almost to the end of the island. So much Civil War history. Alright, so this is the Fort Fisher State Recreation Area pull in. They actually have a 4x4 beach out here. It doesn't say motorcycles prohibited, but uh, man, this thing barely goes just in the sand off the side of the road, so I wouldn't want to try it in uh, full beach sand. I think there is a restaurant there. Actually. Man, I love those new Jeeps. This guy's going out on the 4x4 area. Alright, we're just going to loop around the aquarium here. I actually uh, been here a couple years ago, and then we took our little boy here a couple days ago. So, pretty cool aquarium. It's only like $12 or $13 to get in. If you take a look at some of these walking trails, like that one right there, you can walk or you can bike them. I'll show you where they end up here in a second. But yeah, so you can see de decent sized aquarium. There's uh, something over here called Laura Keats Landing where they do something special with birds. place gets really busy um, they open at 9 we got there at 906 place was already freaking packed lying at the door think we can make it around this nice see some more Civil War stuff. showed you guys a minute ago 
comes out right here so you've got a nice little wooded area you can ride your bikes or walk through and here we're coming up on the ferry this ferry takes you right across the bay to Southport which uh, is another famous Civil War era town uh, it's where the movie Safe Haven was filmed with Julianne Huff but yeah, it's like an hour, hour and 15 minute drive there by car because you have to go back up the peninsula and then back down this ferry. The ferry ends up taking you about an hour, but you can drive right on it and you, you park and get out of your cars and just sit and they take you across the water, which is pretty cool. I've done it before. It's nice to do on a day where it's not super hot because you can't, you can't sit in your car and use the air conditioning. You're out in the sun for the whole hour so be aware of that looks like that's what all these guys are doing Fort Fisher here's some of the last earthworks guys and these you can actually walk on those you can actually walk on So I, I got actually a video of the, I did my WG2X video up there. You can see the bay here. You can walk a good ways out on some of those rocks and check out the bay. Here's the boat launch. I've actually, uh, actually took an inflatable kayak all the way out to that other island over there. That was uh, kind of scary because the waves got big at one point, but you can see just a beautiful area. This is Federal Point. This is as far south as you can go um, on this island. So if you were to if you were to get over there on the beach and start walking south, you uh, would come to a waterway. But if you cross that waterway and kept going, you would end up in a nature preserve, and then you would inch, eventually end up at Bald Head Island, which is uh, they have like a golf course there, but the only way to get on Bald Head is uh, via ferry. There are no roads there, so they have a nice restaurant and stuff over there. Uh, I've never been over there, but that's on my list to check out maybe next time we come down. We always go over to Southport and eat at the Fishy Fish. Yeah, guys that's it if you're ever down the area carolina beach curry beach uh fort fisher if you want something just a little quieter well a lot quieter than myrtle but not just a barren wasteland <clears throat> definitely come down here you're still only uh you're only about 45 minutes to an hour from myrtle so you can still jet down there for the day if you want to do something you can jet up to wilmington for the day the options are endless but the area you're staying in is super quiet and peaceful so yeah uh, thanks for uh thanks for riding with me and uh i'll see you in the next video later